God knows my heart. This is one of the most declaring statements that I hear many people who profess to be Christians say. And they declare this statement because they want to make it known unto you. Look, I might be doing things the way that I want to do things. I might be living how I want to live, but I know that God knows my heart. And they say that saying to justify their wicked ways and think that because God knows our heart, that they will have a free ticket into the kingdom of heaven, though they're living in rebellion. The fact that you say, God knows my heart, you are making a confession with your mouth. Jesus told us in the book of Matthew, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when you say God knows my heart, you are making a confession. You know deep in your heart that God knows your heart. And because you're making this confession, God is going to hold you accountable to that. And if you're not living according to his standard, according to his word, and you get to heaven, you stand before God. And God start asking you all of these questions. How can you say to God, well, God, you know my heart. When God told us in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 9 and 10, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So God letting us know through his prophet Jeremiah, I am the Lord and I search your heart. He said, I search the heart. I try the reins. And he told us that our heart is deceitful above all things. It's desperately wicked. Our heart want to sin. Our heart want to rebel against God. God letting us know, look, your heart will deceive you. And the psalmist David knew this. And that's why he prayed in Psalms 51.10. Create a clean heart in me, O God, and renew the right spirit in me. David was a man that understood if I, if I follow my heart, I'm going to be in deception. I'm going to deceive myself. My heart has to be right with God. David was a man that was after God's heart. He wasn't following the steps of his own heart. He was repenting in Psalms 51.10 because he understood that his heart has to be right with God before anything else. And that's how we got to be. My friend, your heart and my heart has to be right before God. We have to go before boldly to the throne of grace. And we got to ask God to give us a new heart because that's what God desires to do. When you come to God, he don't want you living in your rebellion. He want to give you a new heart. He want to help you live the lifestyle of his standard, which is holiness. God want to give you a new heart, a clean heart to love him, to serve him. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 36. I'm going to begin at verse 22. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them living in your sin. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into our own land into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them, saith the Lord. God said, when you repent and turn to him, when you repent of your sins, he will remove you from the heathen and the ways of the heathen. And he will put a new heart inside of you. He's going to take that heart that you got that's so cold, that's so wicked, that's so broken. And he will give you a new heart. And this new heart that he gives you is going to be a heart of flesh. It's going to be a tender heart that's going to love him. And he said he's going to put a new spirit inside of you. 
a spirit that, that's going to cause you to walk in his, his statutes, to keep his ordinances, to keep his judgments, to live and walk in the fear of the Lord. So when you declaring God knows my heart and yet you living in sin, you declaring that statement to justify your wicked ways that, that destroys the name of God's hold that destroys God holy name. God want to give you a new heart and you're going to be held accountable when you stand before him. Only God knows my heart is no way to justify your sins. God want to give you a new heart because if you don't repent of your sins and let God give you a new heart, you are going to burn in the lake of fire for all eternity, my friend. God want to help you live the lifestyle of holiness. He know that your heart will deceive you. He know that you know people today say, well, just follow your heart. No, we got to follow with God. We got to guard our hearts because the Bible say in Proverbs, out of the cares of this life, the issues of life is in our heart. We got to let God purify us. We got to let God sanctify us. We got to let God purge us. Oh, Jesus, man. It's getting hot up in here. Hold on. He make his, his ministers a flame and fire. Hallelujah. Well, my friend, I'm telling you this because I love you. God want to give you a new heart. If you live in that sin, you know you haven't repented and you keep declaring God knows my heart to justify your wicked ways. When you live in a life that's contrary to the word of the living God, you're going to end up in hell if you don't repent and let God give you a new heart. That's what he desires to do. When I used to live in the world, be in the world before I was saved. My heart was black. My heart was cold. I had no love for nobody. I showed no remorse. We showed no sympathy for nobody. My heart was broken. My heart was in pain. My heart was torn. But I, when I came to the throne of grace, hallelujah, God took that stony heart that was in me. I had a heart of rock. He took that, that heart of rock out of me. And he gave me a new heart to fall in love with him, to love his people, to love everyone as Christ loved the church. God gives us a new heart to serve him. My friend, that's a blessing from the Lord God of Israel. He willing to give you a heart that's going to love him, that's going to serve him. That's going to help you get to heaven. He willing to do a whole entire makeover transformation upon you. My friend, repent of your sins. And allow God to give you a clean heart. Because if your heart is, is wicked, when you stand before Jesus, he's going to say, depart from me. I never even knew you. Only God knows my heart. And the Lord said he's searching your heart every day. He's trying the wings to give you according to your ways and the fruit of your doings. God knows my heart. Yes, indeed, he does.